Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be reviewing the Incase Laser which we bought for £32 off AliExpress. If you're new to the channel, it's not the first laser we've reviewed. We're actually reviewing a lot of lasers under £100 at the minute. For anybody that might be on a budget and trying to get you know, a good laser, we've already re reviewed two, haven't we, Dan? We have. We reviewed the Revarsary, which costs £48 mm. off Timu. Yep. And we've reviewed the Sigmund CT800, which I think these are about £70 off Amazon, but I might be getting... If this video is in edit at the minute, they might be sending me a discount code for you guys. So if you've not seen them reviews, make sure you go and check them out. But today, it's the Incursor. Ooh. 32 pound. Will it work? Will it work? That's what we're gonna find out. We're gonna have a bit of a match today with a little bit of a twist where the winner of the haul gets to choose what tee box we're off. So I think we need to do a bit of a heads or tails, don't we? Yeah, we this one. T flip. Yeah. Two T flip. Yeah. Ready? One sec then, let's have a look. So if it points to me, I get to choose. Yeah. Go on then. That's pointing at me, isn't uh, it? Yeah, that doesn't bode well for the rest of the day, does it? I'll tell you what. Go on. I will start off yellows. Go on then. We'll start off yellows. We'll play it's full length. That's the longest tees we've got out today. We're on winter conditions up at Huddersfield. And I'll let you take the honour. Thank you. Looking forward to unboxing this one what we're getting for 32 pounds it's a good strike mm, a bit fading right. a little bit it's Dan's traditional fade so it's quite surprising guys what you can get for your money if you think a bit more you know wider instead of maybe going to your local retailer using the old interweb but we'll only be honest with you if it's not very good I'll tell you the truth. Go. That is A1. You're going to need a taxi to get to that one, pal. <laughs> so let's see what we get inside the box for £32. I must say, since starting doing these reviews, I've been very surprised what you can actually get for your money, Dan. Um, but I guess, for you guys who are watching at home, it's one of these things you don't want to go and spend £30, £40 and it'd be a complete waste of money. And that's where we can sort of help you make these calculated decisions. So it's like we've got a little bit of an internal battery because there's a charger in there. Do you know what I like? Simplicity. Nice little black case. I've not put over branded it with, you know, anything. That's going to sit nice on the bag. Good solid zip. First impressions... What I am impressed about, unlike the reverse rate, it has actually got a little bit of a rubber sort of grip on here, so it feels quite comfortable to hold. I think looks as well, it's quite smart, it's just black on black, isn't it? It definitely looks nicer than the other one, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's quite smart, that. Is it charged, though? Oh, it is, there's plenty of power in that. Right, right Danny, you just putting one down there. No, I'm going for the green. Are you really? Yeah. It's going to need to cut this up then. I'm going to try. He's a bit blocked out. I think he's going to be try. starting up that left hand bunker somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely starting line. It's oh, sliding. Gas. I don't know if it's got legs. Has it got there? I think it's front of green. It's what? Front of green. You're smirking. Does it? Go on, you can say it. What? Say it. I didn't see it. No, say it. Say what? It were a great shot. <laughs> I hadn't seen it. I'd love it... to say it. I couldn't see it. Except with that far back, I couldn't see. Oh, come on. I've got 240 at middle. <laughs> Big eye cut. <laughs> yeah, actually. Right, guys, this is a great opportunity to check out the distances, and we're also going to include the Bushnell Tour V5. Not because we think this is right, just because it's a good benchmark. Kind of a standard, isn't it? It's this, yeah, it, well, I mean, it's an expensive laser. These are about 349. So this is measuring 169 to the flag. That's not with slope. Let me just pop slope on there, because these do all include slope. So 169 it's coming out 157 with slope okay right we've got the 
I've got lasers coming out my arse. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. In Kersey 500. 171 minus 13. So minus one's 161. So about 158. About 158. And what did that one say? This one said 156. So it's within a couple of yards. Yeah. Then it reverse ray. 160. Is that with slope? That's with slope. Okay, so that's three or four yards out. <clears throat> 156. So that's more or less the same. So that, the, the reverse is the one that's the furthest out. Okay. And they're within a couple of yards, aren't they? All right, and this one we're 32. Yeah. So it's good for distance. Can't complain at that. I mean, 32 pounds. <laughs> The other thing that he didn't have in the case was a clip, weren't it? Yeah. Oh, stay there. Oh, I think I've missed just short right. On the plus side, we'll be able to the lasers again. Now, hang around, guys. Got a lot more to talk about with this laser. Obviously, we need to really talk about... We need to put them in order, don't we? We do. Of what we would, what we would buy. If we were in your position, a few more points to talk about. Sit, sit. Oh, I like oh, that. He's found one. He always turns up when he's playing me. <laughs> I like that. We're in one-handed. He's a one-handed chipper, Dan. If you're new to the channel, he's been a bit yippy in his time. He's found that chipping one-handed takes that away. He's not doing bad with it either. Great shot. Thank you. Right, I'll tap that in, Dan. Oh, I'll give you that. And you don't you have to tap that in. Do you want it out or in? Uh, you can leave it in. Solid. Easy. Halved in birdies. Oh, we can play a bit. Same as last time we played this hole. Yeah. It's been good to us. Good. We could go yellow tees at 166. We could go red tees, which are about 140. Or we could go blue tees with a, a junior academy tees. I think that measures about 90 yards. I know which you're going to try and paint. And I I'm know going it. blue. Blue? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your wedge play. So there's one thing we can't be 100% sure on. It, it's longevity, how long these are going to last, you know, yeah. how robust they are. But one thing we can do is give you a first impression, can't yeah. we? I mean, if you were to... I'm going to put these three in your hands, Dan. Well, because what we're looking for is, I think weight is one thing, you know, if yeah. it feels kind of... I think... Well, what we said with the Sigmund yesterday when we reviewed this one is that we felt, because it's got this rubber casing on, if it were to drop, it feels a bit more robust. Like it might not just break. Do you know what I mean? Whereas with the Revastry, it's very, very plastic. If you've watched that review, the quality and the, the optics were fantastic. You know, it's such a clear lens to look through. Um, it worked when it were overcast, when it were raining. There were no problems with sort of, you know, picking up the pin. Yep. But, I mean, what would you say about them when you put them in your hands and you feel them? So that feels weakest out of three, doesn't it? Yeah. A bit plastic, uh, light. No other way to put it apart from, like we said in yeah. the review, it feels cheap. These two... I mean, without looking, feel identical. Right, okay. I'd say they feel, you'd think they were the same model. Well, that's interesting because one's sort of, you know, near a £70, pound, one's £32. Pounds. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they look very similar. What feel. would you say if you were to sort of like, let's forget about price. Yeah. Just pick up the pin of the next door for us. So I want you to use them both. Have you got a laser yourself? Not no more, no. Would you be in the market for one? Uh, potentially, yeah, I'll probably pick another one up. So I want you to use them both and tell me, like, you know, forgetting about price, is there any that you prefer? Because I think when you try them, guys, and you look through the lens, it, it gives you a different perspective. It does. Is there any clearer to look through than the other? No, they're both similar and they're both giving exact same readings, weirdly. Just have a closer look at them both. Yeah. What I would say about the Sigmund, 
And the reason why it potentially is more, it does a little bit more than golf. It, do, it measures speed. So if you're somebody right. that likes F1 and you want to measure the speed of maybe a car, um, it had a little bit more in the box as well in terms of it had something to clean the lens with. It had a, a really nice big clip so you could clip it on your bag. But what about just, ju if we're just looking at the device on its own? This one probably just has edge. The Sigmund. Yeah, it just looks a bit better screen. Yeah. Um, Let's have a little look up close. Numbers. Just show us these closely. Yeah. I mean, to me, if I was looking at it, I say I would say it looks better. It does. It probably it? just yeah. It just has edge. It looks a bit more premium, but looks premium. But there's not a great deal in them. And numbers wise, they get the same number. We're looking in price point between about thirty to forty pounds difference in price. So Which is double cost, isn't it? So. Double cost. Yeah. Let's not jump into any conclusions. What distance did we have? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Right. It's. Uh, I'll let you keep the honour. Jump. Oh, it's a good strike. We've just been talking about all in ones. Imagine. Oh, oh. it's just front. We've never had one on the channel, guys. We're quite new, obviously. Um, if it's the first time you're watching. But uh, who knows? This could be it. Feel a bit of pressure now. I shouldn't have said oh. it. <laughs> oh, no. Pulled it. I said that, 75, not 175. That's back at green, that's going to be a tough putt. That's what we like. Right, this is not an easy up and down, this little slope. Roll out, roll out. It's died a bit. Well, it's a little knee knocker. It is a knee knocker actually. You can dance, sneak a win. Usually a good putter, in fairness. Oh, I'll give you that one. Cheers, mate. I think I'm going deaf. We've seen him miss these. Are you not going to do a bit of aim point? I think I'm going deaf. I think I might have to go to doctors, you know. I might do a bit of aim point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bit cocky, but I don't want to lose. <laughs> It goes up last then. How do you feel? And we're going off the furthest back tees, par five. We're just playing to my strength. Winner takes all. I think what we need to do is start to put these lasers in order right. of what we purchased. I mean, this series is a series about lasers under 100 pounds. I mean, obviously the more you spend, you, you think that the better you're gonna get. Well, it's probably not the case in this series so far from the lasers we've bought. So we will put them in order as we play it last all. Right. 521 yards, dog leg left to right. We've got to sort of. So it's Gary's slice. Go a bit right of this path, really. Oh, it's not, it's straight, straight up line at path. I think I could definitely kiss goodbye to get into the green in two. Oh. Oh dear. Only time you don't want to hit a straight drive on this hole. Some would say the door is open. It is. Maybe. Ooh, yours is a bit better. A bit? Uh, <laughs> I thought we were watching Rory. Well, it's left to where you're aiming. But it's, uh, it's better than mine. A laser's not going to help me here because all I can do is advance it as much as possible. the danger of hitting it straight, you run out of fairway on this hole. Oh, that's as good as I could get. Yeah, I bet you're not too happy with that one, are you? That's actually done a lot better than I thought. That was solid. <laughs> At least I could get to it green in three. Well, Ooh, he's laying up. I've only got a five iron in Mick. Like, it up. I mean, to be fair, it's 270 to the front into wind. It's how, how far? 270. Is it? 
Oh, it's a bit slappy. I think that's because we'll to get past mine, that. Slappy. It's only just done me. I only knocked a little five up. You know what's weird? Go on. I'm reaching into my bag for a laser. I'm a, obviously a scratch golfer, guys, and I don't really care which laser I pull out. Yeah, they're all you know, they're all within five yards, and that's close enough for me. I've actually pulled out the reversary. 155 yards, which I think is going to be probably be, well, we're getting some discussion, but it's probably going to be our least favourite. But I'm still happy enough to use it for distance. Yep. So it just shows you don't have to spend a lot on a laser. 155. We have brought half a set. I'm going to mention it now because oh, I'm in between here we clubs. Go. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to have to go six, even though I, I want a seven, really. Well, I think six is good. Sit, sit. Uh, could just be slightly long left. It was a lovely strike. I think it just drifted up wind a bit. What's it zapping, Dan? 140. 140. And I've only got a seven iron. Uh, really? No, you aren't. I have. Well, it's seven iron or wedge. What? You didn't put a nine in? No, I'm only playing you. <laughs> That's crazy. You even go odds or even, surely. Ooh, uh, it's a bit slappy. Tried to take too much off it. Ooh, it's going to be a short game contest. Well, it's, it's in bag then. It's going to be a game of seven. It's be too far for one hand. Left it Go short. Mm. Big dog. I've not got a 58, so I'm going to go 54. Open face and hit it out of toe. <gasps> oh. He loves playing against me. It's mate. a match winner. I don't even zoom in on that. It's face. a match winner. It's going to be a short game contest. Well, well it's, it's, bag then. Bag then. it's going to be a game of seven. This went off? Yeah. Well, well it's in bag, then. bag then. It's another L. We're having another match. <laughs> <laughs> right, when we first tested this reverse we absolutely blown away by it, weren't we? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. The only thing we could criticise it were is it felt a little bit cheap, didn't have any sort of rubber or grip. Yeah. We then got the Sigmund, which, you know, me and Daz tested that on the course and we, we came to the agreement that that was the better laser. And yet it was more expensive, it was £70, but we felt like from £50 to £70, the extra £20, it was well worth, worth it. it. You know, we, we concluded by saying if we felt, if we dropped that, we felt like it wouldn't it'd break. It'd survive, yeah. It'd survive more than this one would. So as though we can't talk about longevity, we can tell you what we feel about yeah, yeah. them. It feels better quality. But this has chucked a real spanner in the works. 30 pounds. 30, 32 pounds, basically. It's got the rubber on it. It doesn't feel as good as the Sigmund. But if we just took, we've got to take price out of there a little bit. I mean, we do have to consider it, but yeah. it is difficult, guys, when, you, when you're testing these things. I think if you've got 100 pounds to spend, then for me, it would be the Sigmund. You think? If I was going in order, I'd go Sigmund, I'd go in Carse, yep. and then I'd go Revastre. I mean, then that £48 set, pound is surplus now for me. Yeah, that's probably the weakest link. Unless it comes up in an offer on Timu where yeah. they might have 50% off. But for £48, pound, no. I'm going to be getting the, you know, the Incursi all day long. But then you're saying that that's worth double the amount of that. And now you're justifying that. I mean, I'm justifying it on, I like good quality things. Yeah. And I'm already saving probably more, a, 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 I'm saving a quarter of the price of a, a Bushnell. I feel as though if I'm going to buy something, I want it to sort of last. And, I, be, you know, I, I just feel I'm going to enjoy playing that. It looks better. It, it feels better better, quality. Better, yeah. It's more substantial. Um, and as I said, you know, you can get these between 60 and 70 pounds. So it's not quite double. Um, yeah. Well, it is actually, isn't it? That yeah. was bad maths, that. <laughs> But that... I'd go for that. Would you? Yeah, without a doubt. I think they feel identical. That, you might say, looks a bit better. Yeah. 
The performance end, the looks end through the There is only one little thing to mention as well. You know, I'm not trying to sell this by any means, guys, but the Sigmund CT is up to 800 yards. Okay. That's up to 500 yards. I mean, it's not going to make a great no. deal of difference to us golfers, is it? Because there's not often you're going to need a distance over 500 yards. No, no. But I went for 800 just because I thought, well, if it's a bit foggy, you know, if it's a bit overcast and you're trying to pick a, a you know, long distance target, that might yeah. just, you know, be a little bit better. Well, I don't think we can agree then, can we? No, but... We'll let you guys obviously make a conclusion yeah. uh, from what you've seen in these vlogs. But we're going to be testing now a laser that's been highly recommended by the subscribers, Millsy. Right. Have you ever seen a Millsy laser? I've not. This is more top end of our £100 budget, but I can tell you now, I've got a feeling it could end up topping the table when you see this, guys. So we're going to finish on this vlog today. If you're enjoying these laser vlogs, if you're in the market for a laser under £100, make sure you're subscribed. We'll be back in a few days' time. We'll be sharing the Millsy. This one's special. It's Ready definitely worth subscribing for. And we'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.